Now our image is ready to be taken to the new background. We're going to do that by using the Move tool. We're going to press B for the Move tool and then I'm going to take my image and I'll drag it up here and then I drop it to the new background. You ignore these dialog boxes, you're just going to click OK and OK. As you can see, our image is too big, so what we need to do right now is we need to scale this new image. So we're going to do that by using the free transform. We're going to uh, press Ctrl T for that. All right. Now I'm going to press Shift and I'm going to hold Shift. I'm going to uh, take one of these corners and I will drag it down and I scale my image until I get it the way I want it. I'm going to try it one more time. All right. I think I'm going to try to move this. Then I'm going to look at it and see if it, if it uh, looks okay to me. All right, that looks perfect. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, uh, fix the second most important thing in a composite, and that is per perspective. If you don't fix the perspective, your subject will look like it does not belong there, you know. So that's one of the things that you have to do. We're going to do that by pressing Control T again. Okay, I'm going to zoom out. Now I'm going to press Shift and I'm going to enlarge this image. Then I'm going to start moving my background. Just try to figure it out. Well, not figure it out. Alright, and I think that that looks good to me. Now my image, my uh, subject, looks like he actually belongs there. Okay. Let's see if we can take it down there. Move him a little bit. I'm gonna make him a little bigger. There we go. Okay, yeah, I think that's perfect to me. Alright, the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to fix the hair. Because as you can see, the hair, we have uh, some issues on the hair. It's like a little white part, you know, this is part of the uh, background from the uh, from he was extracted. You can still see that he's got some of that white stuff, you know, white pieces. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to go down here where it says uh, FX. We're going to uh, click on drop shadow. We're going to make sure this is at a 90 degrees because we want that drop shadow to come from a 90 degrees. Okay, we're going to click OK. Now the drop shadow is affecting the entire image. Okay, and we don't want that. So what I want to do right now is I want to separate this effect and put this effect into a new layer. You can do that by uh, pressing, uh, by double click on effects. Then I go where it says create layer. We're going to do that again. Effects. And then I'm going to go where it says, where, is, where it says create layer. There we go. Now you get, you're going to get that dialog box. You're just going to click OK. Now I have my drop shadow on a different layer, which allows me to create a layer mask. I'm going to create a layer mask. I'm going to press Control i The reason why I do that is because I want to hide all the effects. I'm going to go to my brush, select a white brush, and then I'm just going to start painting on those areas where I want the effects to take place. All right. That looks really nice. I'm going to click on my layer mask on my subject, go to the uh, clone tool, I'm going to press Alt and I'm just going to Sample and I'm going to start sampling alright I'm just going to cover those areas just make this image look more realistic I don't like the last one Okay, and I think that is going to be perfect. Let's move a little spot here. Okay, 
There we go. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to match the background and the foreground color because the colors from the background are different from the colors from the foreground. Uh, the uh, image, the uh, HDR image was shot at night and the uh, subject was shot at the studio with a studio strobe. And usually a studio strobe outputs 5,600 Kelvin, which is like a daylight kind of light. So they got like different, they got different temperatures. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to, uh, we are going to create a new background layer. We're going to take the background layer, the copy. We're going to uh, take it to the top. Now I'm going to go where it says filter, blur, and then I go where it says average. What Photoshop is doing right now is it's taking all the uh, luminosity, saturation, contrast, highlight, shadows, you know, uh, blacks, whites, everything, and, it is give, and it's just going to give me an average color. So now I'm just going to go where it says uh, to the uh, blending modes, and I'm going to change the blend mode to soft light. As you can see, the uh, this layer is affecting all the layers that are uh, below it, and I don't want that. I want this layer right here, the layer copy, to affect only my my subject, because what I'm what I'm what I'm doing right now is I'm taking uh, all the uh, the background colors and getting the average of that, and then I just want to apply that to my subject. We can do that by doing a clipping mask. The uh, shortcut for the clipping mask uh, is Control Alt and G. All right, and now as you can see, the uh, layer uh, above it is uh, only affecting the uh, subject layer. Okay, and now I'm just going to decrease the opacity until I get the right color, until I get the the color that I want. There we go. And I think that is going to be about okay. That is 40%. Okay, and that's how you do all that. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.